Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Since Lightroom 11 has been released with its new masking features, I've been getting numerous emails from people that are having a problem with it. In this video, I'm going to talk about the problem that you may encounter with the new masking features in Lightroom 11, and I'm going to give you a workaround as well. I don't think this is a bug of the masking feature. I think it's something that Adobe overlooked and hopefully they'll correct it in an update. Now specifically for this image, let's just say I want to do something to the background. I want to make it a little darker, let's say, or something. I want to do something with the background. Now I can't select just the background, right? So I have to select the subject first. So I'll go and select the subject and you can see it did a pretty good job selecting the subject but I don't want to adjust that deck she is sitting on. I don't want to adjust that. I just want to adjust the background. So I need to add to the selection. So I'll click add and I'll get a brush and now I'll just add to it, simply add to it. So I'm just going to do it real very quickly. I'm not going to do probably that great of a job. I already messed up, but you get the idea. I just added to the selection. Now here is the problem people are encountering. Um, we ha what we have is selected is what we don't want to adjust, so we need to invert this. But we have a brush mask and we have a subject mask. Each of those has an invert. But the mask, the overall mask at the top, that doesn't have the invert there at all. So if you go and, let's say, invert the subject mask, it'll invert the subject part of it, but it didn't invert the part we added. So you're thinking, okay, I could go to the part I added and invert that. So I'll go to that part and click on invert. And you could see it now has her selected as well. So um, like I mentioned, I don't think this is really a bug. I think this is just something that they overlooked. What they really need to do is at the overall mask at the top, have an invert um ability to invert it there and then you'll invert both of the masks the subject mask and the brush mask uniformly together and without overlapping upon one another so the workaround is pretty obvious here let's just start over so what we're going to do is we're going to select the subject again then what you're going to do is you're going to invert it right now so we'll go here and we'll invert now so now we have the background selected but we also have the deck selected now just subtract from this mask. So go get a brush and then you could subtract from the mask. Like that. Now again, I just did it very quickly. So now I could come in and adjust just the background. Now you won't be able to obviously do this probably with every um, masking situation you encounter, but uh, doing it this way, I think will cover most masking situations you may need to do. So um, hopefully Adobe addresses this issue in a future update of Lightroom 11. And uh, we're able to invert the entire mask, not only a subject mask, but a brush mask that was added to it, or maybe uh, any type of thing that was added to it. By the way, it doesn't, it, it, the problem isn't just with the brush. It is with anything. So if I would have come in here and I selected the subject and I added anything, if I added, um, you know, a linear gradient, radial gradient, color range, luminance range, or even a depth range mask added to this, then when I invert, it still doesn't invert properly. So um, it's, it's something that, you know, is kind of uniform across this new masking tool that hopefully they take care of very soon. Thank you. Everyone who watches my videos, I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.